Dodge is supplying a motor and transmission, and we're also given $15,000 cash to put towards the build. Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. And if you're wondering where I'm at currently, I am in a secret location because I have something very special to share with you guys. I got invited to be a rookie at the event Motor Trend Presents Roadco Nights powered by Dodge. This event I was watching live last year. <laughs> Basically this event has a group of influencers where they all have to build a car and race against each other. I was very jealous, I'm like, oh, that could be me. But here I am, I got a car. Thanks to Dodge and Motor Trend, I will be able to compete in Roadkill Nights. This year is actually a little different than last year, if you're not too familiar with it. They're actually doing a mentor and rookie program this year. So there is actually two influencers per competing team. Last year, they only had one influencer per team building the car and competing. Do you want to come in camera and introduce yourself? All right, come in the shot. <laughs> this is Tony with Corrupt Builds. I wanted him to tell you guys a little bit about himself and his builds and what he's famous for. We were lucky enough to do this event last year um, and it's, it's a really neat experience from start to finish in reality. I own a shop called American Legends. We're based in Phoenix. We build hot rods and muscle cars. So I'm very familiar with all the pre-72 muscle cars. It's also my dream to do is build <laughs> classic cars. We need help, so <laughs> it's hard to find people these days. <laughs> this year we're building a- Yeah, I haven't announced it yet. Oh. If you're wondering what we are both standing in front of, this is the car that we are going to be building for the competition this year. Dodge is supplying a motor and transmission, which is yet to be revealed on what exactly we are getting. And we're also given $15,000 cash to put towards the build to be able to compete in this competition. Because as we all know, just cars are very expensive. Already. <laughs> yeah, long literally gone. this car alone, just the chassis more than that. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, this car is really well set up for what we're going to do. It's got a good platform, a good base. The goal is to build the fastest car to be every influencer. Am I wrong? No, that's the plan is to win. We're going to win. <laughs> we're low key the underdogs compared to everybody else. I feel like nobody will expect us to, you let's, know, let's be good. Let's keep it that way. And, we'll keep it that way. <laughs> yeah, I don't have like crazy social media numbers. I'm not a big drag racer, so. Yeah, that too. So I am the rookie. Right? Because I know you guys call me a professional in everything fifth gen Camaro, but I am not a professional in drag racing. So that's where Tony is coming in place. He will be teaching me everything there is to drag racing and building a drag car and all the safety precautions and procedures when I am driving the car. This is an exciting one because I'm pretty well known for road course kind of content on my channel. It's very thankful for Dodge and Motor Trend and Roadkill Nights for picking me to be a rookie this year with the mentor Tony that's off camera. <laughs> okay, before I show you guys the car, this event, if you guys do want to attend this event, it is in Pontiac, Michigan, and it is on August 12th. Check out what we have going on right now. This was previously a drag car. It's yeah. kind of a blank slate for us to go crazy on it's it. It's got good bones. The guy I bought it from took it all apart. Now we're gonna finish it basically in, in a very short amount of time. We got this car at the shop. It was silver. Paint was cracking and like Bondo was showing. It was just a mess. And as we know, I love to have clean paint. And so Tony chose the color white. Funny enough, even though all my cars are white, it just got a brand new paint job. But I'll show you guys before pictures of what it looks like before it arrived here at American Legends. <laughs> Crazy part about this car is that it is tubbed. So basically the whole back the of the car room. was chopped off and they remade the whole. Oh yeah, there's no door bars. So this is just a four point roll bar is all that's in here now. It's very simple. Don't know how fast we're really gonna go. So I'm not not doing anything overkill. I mean, it's built to go pretty fast. I'm sure it's pretty lightweight. And then if you guys don't know what it means for a car to be tubbed is cut out the stock chassis and then you guys weld in new pieces of metal. So you're able to fit a crazy amount of tires. So you have traction crazy. on the drag strip. Yes, yes, as wide as we can go. So yeah, yeah the, the wheels on this car are they're, 15 they're, by 14. This car will be able to fit the largest Mickey Thompson tire possible. Yes. In a 15. When Stay they did all it. this rear suspension, uh, it now has a four link with a wishbone um, and coil over shocks. So it's all set up to actually put the power down and go fast. Traction is the most important. 
That's what everybody keeps saying about this event. Lots of traction. It's just up to you this time. Let's just not miss a gear. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, that's your problem this Guys, time. Guys, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to embarrass Tony last year. He supposedly had the fastest car. Not supposedly, we totally did. Okay, he totally did, but you know we don't want to make the other competitors feel bad. It's only fast if you can. <laughs> it's only fast if you can shift it. But yet he missed third gear because it was a manual transmission. You know, he's a really good builder. Not such a good driver. Luckily, I'm racing. <laughs> I'm the driver this year. Yes. Yeah, but I'm actually driving the vehicle, so he's showing me the whole process on how to properly drive the vehicle since he is the expert in building and driving on the drag strip. But I wouldn't call myself an expert drag racer per se. I'm more of a builder, but I, 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 I can show you how to drive the, the I can show you mentor. how to drive the car. Oh yeah. So the mentor is kind of an expert. You're at least way better than me. I will be competing in this car at the event in August. Hopefully I don't miss a gear. If we get a manual transmission, we are not sure yet. We will have to find all these parts. <laughs> because how, we're how building this car. How many days do we have? That is the big problem. How many yeah. days do we have? <laughs> Seriously though, if like we 20 wanna or If what? we want to test, we have like three weeks. If we want time to test. Three weeks and we have a bare car. We don't know what trans and motor we're putting in Which yet. We yeah, we do not have this an engine is, transmission. This is gonna be wild. Yes, it's gonna happen very quickly. Who knows? <laughs> We don't even have a steering wheel. <laughs> That's no. the easiest part. That was we don't have a lot joke. of stuff. We don't have seats. We don't have seat belts. But it's all coming, hopefully. It'll be fun. <laughs> you guys will see what we pick and why. And hopefully some sponsors will be on board to help us out. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> Yay, first part on the car. Exactly. All right, we gotta feed this through somewhere. Yes. Not, don't worry about the little black one, but yeah, that one. You kind of just set it up there, and then from the inside, there'll be. Oh, there it is. Well, this is super easy. Two yeah. bolts on each side. Yeah, there's not much to these. Pretty. Just lift, lift the bottom. Lift oh, it? Loose, loosen it a little bit. That looks great painted. It looks so much better. That's the rear bumper. <laughs> That's the bumper. <laughs> it's so easy. <laughs> oh, you grabbed it yourself. Oh, this thing doesn't I thought weigh. we were going to try to carry it again. <laughs> no, this thing weighs like nothing. It would have been funny. <laughs> it's very heavy. <laughs> wow, see, this is like how much my Civic bumper weighs. Yeah. That's just plastic like all the new car junk. It sits on top of this. This grill's like two grand. Are you serious? They don't make them. Oh. So like if you need one, you either have to try to find one that's in good shape you or have, have one restored. You could, but what would that cost? I mean, one person <laughs> this is what the rear should be like. What, the slight? No, well, it should be metal like this. The back one's just yeah. plastic. This sucks to do. Is this the right way? Yeah. Put that through. Like that. It uses the, the big washer, the little washer, the lock washer, and then that. So it goes big to small? Yeah. Goes oh, around. we're turning around. <laughs> Back hole first. Mm -hmm. Right, it has a gap so it doesn't bite my fingers. Yeah, it's fiberglass head, so the gap's not perfect by any means. That looks pretty good. It's a cool looking car. It is. I really like it, actually. It's really pretty. I'd be scared if this was coming at me. Everyone's going to be looking at its taillights. That's the plan. We'll have to send them all pictures of the front end because they're never going to see it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was thinking send pictures of the rear end and then just say get used to it now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just need to get the motor in there. Yes. Once we get it. We got our crate motor in. 